Welcome everyone to what is talk to the end of this an introduction class. I'm Dr. Huan Xu. I'm an access consciousness facilitator and I work with the weirdest and the most beautiful and magical tools in the world as access consciousness and talk to the entity is one of the specialties that I teach. It's just amazing. Uh, this is the kindest class that I've seen that's ghost related, where ghosts and people are given choices to, to choose for them. So it is actually about empowerment. It's empower people to start accessing your own capacity with the spirit world, to start trusting your awareness and your perception and learn how to play with this invisible world that's always been around us, but has have been so misunderstood and very poorly portrayed in the media. So this is an invitation for you to really start opening your capacity. And also it's an invitation to create a world where there's no separation between people embodied and people that don't have a body or animals that don't have body or any other beings that choose not to have a body. It's a world um, just like how we first discovered the microbe world where we didn't know much about it. We don't, we think bacteria are all bad. They are terrible. We have, we are frightened of them. And, and then we discover the probiotics, the ones that are good for human. And then we discover that there are all sorts of bacteria and all sorts of, all sorts of microbes that, that are actually coexisting on this planet with us. So is the spirit world. It is a world where we're still exploring. It's it's vast, it's huge, it's got a, lot, a huge diversity. And of course, there are smart ones and stupid ones, conscious ones and unconscious ones, angry ones, you name it, just like human. <laughs> There's a world out there in the spirit world where if we are willing to tap in, it will clear so many, so many things in your personal life where it's unexplained. It's also going to empower you to start claiming your capacity, your power, and your how strong, how powerful your choices are in life. And why do I say it's the kindest to the entities as well? It's also the it's also about empowering entities as well. So when we deal with entities, um, instead of you know what we see in the movie that demons are all terrible and angels are all good and you follow the angels and, and kill the demons. Um, it, it's, not, it's not that, it's not as polarized like that. When we deal with the entities, we also give them a choice, empower them to let them know that they have a choice as well. And Annette mentioned something really beautiful. One of the main things in dealing with entities is that you realize you need to realize that you, your body, your being is the boss of your life. You need to be the boss of your life, the chooser in your life, and nothing else can interfere with you. Not an entity, not a person, nothing else can interfere with your choice. Hmm, my sound dropped out every odd now and then. How about this one? How about now? How's my sound now, Anna? Good? Thank you, thank you for letting me know. And um, as we said, when we talk about entity topics, there's always loads of entity wanting to join and contribute or listen to us or want to connect with us. Can, can everyone here on the Zoom do one thing? Now, be the, be the boss in your room, be the boss in your own space and tell the entities that are really keen to step back from your computer and the internet. Yes, you can be here, but not so close. And do not interrupt with our electronic devices. Wonderful, thank you. That's a lot easier, thank you. Do you have any questions about Talk to the Entities? What do you know about it? Like, where are you at? Are, are you in the stage where you don't believe there's ghost? 
or are you at a stage where you're just curious about how to play with ghosts? Where are you at? Question number one for everyone here. Have you ever have you ever sensed something like a shadow passing by the corner of your eyes or a whisper in the wind or something suddenly fell off your table? Have you have you ever considered that might be an entity? Now, this is a light and heavy question. I know everyone here know about access. Um, what's, what's true make it light for you and what's, what's a lie? A lie makes you heavy. So question number one, do you have a capacity with entities? Can you sense entities? Truth, yes or no? So Annette and Anna are nodding. Okay, Rosemary, I know you're in person. <laughs> I know that you know. <laughs> okay. Now, truthfully, are you where are you at with your capacity? Are you welcoming? Are you welcoming your capacity, or are you kind of suppressing it, doubting it, and uh, avoiding it? If you have a quiet background, you can unmute yourself. So how much are you welcoming your capacity? Sorry, can you repeat the second question? Because you were dropping out and I think it's actually my internet connection, but it seems better now. So if you can repeat. Okay. Are you welcoming your entity capacity or are you avoiding it, ignoring it, wishing you don't have it? Open to it. I'm open to it. Yeah. You're open to it? Okay. And that says both 80% welcome. Okay. Wow. Okay. Can I invite everyone to relax now? Usually an intro class, <laughs> in the intro class, we don't ask about your capacity, but I know that all of you are quite familiar with this work. Okay, so what will happen if now you claim, say, 100% of your entity capacity? What do you think the worst thing will happen if you claim it, own it, embrace it, and use it to your advantage? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? You'll be called weird, which you already know. <laughs> I'm weird. You're weird. <laughs> Let's all be weird. <laughs> what else will happen if you claim 100% of your entity capacity? Would you have to be so out of control and so open to a world that is not fully understood? And probably won't fit you into any box at all. Well, welcome to the party. Now, everywhere that you're holding back, Everywhere that you're unwilling to claim your capacity, would you like to destroy and unclaim it all, please? If, if I choose 100%, I have to interact with it. Mm, that's really interesting. What's wrong with interacting with it? What would you lose if you interact with you, with your own capacity? Um, I think I, I give energy to it so it will 
become more present and more interactive with you, which may be more than I want. Uh, are you talking about the it as your capacity or the entities? Um, the entity. Okay. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Have you ever had an annoying puppy or annoying kid? Have you ever had that? Yep. <laughs> yeah, or, or you have both? Uh, Sometimes an annoying partner as well? <laughs> I have none of that, luckily, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what happens when you do not respond to a child when they say, can I have something, please? Can I play with you, please? What, do you, what happens when you don't respond to them? Um, they could persist. Yep. Yeah. Now or the trick is, yeah. I was gonna say, or they walk away. Well, do they really ever walk away or they throw a tantrum at you? Bend on the door and yell and scream. Yep, yeah, depends on how much they want it. <laughs> yeah. And well, the advantage of the ghosties is that they don't have a body. You can't lock them out of the door. You can't ask them, you can't send them to the grandparents. They kind of have to follow you until they get what they really desire, like giving you a present, passing you a message, or asking for help. So if you choose not to interact with them, like in this reality, we are so used to, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. It's pretty much sweeping the dust under the cupboard, and it's always there, and it will pile up. The, the trouble is that this dust travels. <laughs> it doesn't just stay under the cupboard. It will follow you until they get the uh, response. The response may be you don't want to deal with them and you talk to them and ask them to go away or clear them, but it will, ha will have you have to acknowledge where they, they are there. Just like when you yell back at the screaming child, hey, I've heard you and this does not work. You have to talk properly. That's your opening a conversation. But if you go, I can't see you, I can't see you, I don't know you. I don't want to know, I don't want to know, I don't want to deal with you, I don't want to be too weird. They will always be there. So from my experience is that um, the, the more willing you are to deal with the entities as they show up, the easier your life will get. It's pretty much like a spring clean to start with. When you start first start to interact with the entities or choose to, to acknowledge that you're aware of them, <laughs> we all have done spring clean. And this is like a spring clean for a lifetime or lifetimes. Uh, it will get a, you will get a bit busy. <laughs> it will get a bit dusty. And after a while, you will find that there are so many energy that you know how you walk in a clean room and you feel fresh same thing in your in your energy field you will start to see wow i have so much space and then i have so much more clarity in my life this is actually serving the entities as well as people this clarity well who doesn't like clarity and lightness and spaciousness right that gives us more choices and more possibilities where we can we can actually see the shiny possibilities whereas if you if we if we don't we if we don't deal with the energy that we know that's there well you're pretty much covered by dust and you get distracted so many times quite often and quite inefficiently so everywhere that we've been ignoring what we know what we can perceive would you like to destroy an uncreated all, please? The right, wrong, green, bad, point, hot, on and shows, boys and beyonds. And everywhere that we are creating more work for us, more confusion and more um, folding of energy around us by avoiding <laughs> entities, <laughs> Shall we destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, point, 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 shows, boys, and beyonds. Right now, I'm gonna, do you have something to share? Or oh, I'm going to mute you. There's a lot of noise coming your way, coming from your yeah. way. Okay, you're muting yourself. Thank you.
Now, uh, I'll share my personal experience with the anti about the NTPs with you. I, I don't see them. I sense them. They, they, they feel like a dense layer of air to me. I Occasionally, I see them. I know Annette here has a capacity to see. Uh, some people can hear whispers. Everyone has different awareness with NTP, and each one, single one of us is unique. So you need to trust your own ability and trust your awareness. But what happens is that I've been running foundation classes, which is one of the core access classes. And every single class, I will have to spend half a day to clear the entities um, because people are so crowded by it that you can't even talk to, talk to the real owner. So it's like talking to a group of people and many are answering one question and you don't know which one's the real answer. And that's very much similar to what I said, you have to do a sprinkling to have clarity. Same thing if you are crowded by entities and you are not the one making choices in your life, it's gonna make choosing and creating your own life very difficult. It's, gonna, it's like having, a, having a, a board meeting of 50 people and you don't know who's, take, who's, <laughs> who's the boss and who's making that choice. So this is also, this is an invitation for people to really choose to be the boss, be their own boss and choose for their, for their life. That's, the, that's what Talk to the NTP is also inviting people to choose. There's a vast, a vast universe there for us to explore. We don't know everything yet, but from what I've experienced and what we've opened up so far, it is a magical world. Imagine like we all work with people. We all wish we have a team, a team to support us, a team that don't judge us and the team that's always willing to contribute. But what if every single one of us also have that? A team that doesn't have body, but that's always been supporting us. Now, can you imagine right now, if we say bacteria and microbe don't exist, I can live without them. Like you'll be laughing, right? They don't, but they're so good. They, they, they um, break down the they break down the bodies, they turn them into something different. It's required. It breaks down the food for your, in your gut as well. And the entity world can be something that's supportive and that can be contributed as well. And it's something that requires us to actually start receiving from them. So this is actually an invitation to open up a huge world for every single one of us, for the, for the power and the choice and the joy of creation we can have in this world. Hwang? Yes? Uh, can a um, feeling of sadness be entities? Because just before um, your message came on that your this call was coming up tonight. I had a sort of a sense of feeling uh, sadness and all that type of energy, and I've had that a lot over the last few years. And I'm just sort of wondering whether that's entities or is that just something else. What's your awareness? Is it entities? Um, maybe not. But okay. I just thought I just felt that, you know, um, since, um, or maybe it was just energy and I um, didn't know what it was and then realised that, oh, your call's coming on and, um, yeah, I was just sort of feeling, getting in and empowering myself more, recognise yeah. a, bit, a bit, bit more of myself and feeling, yeah, feeling... Um, at a loss or yeah. yeah so whatever comes up where there's a feeling or a thought we always have this one question who does this belong to it's an yeah. amazing access tool and that's that's when we start to have more awareness and when rosemary says 
uh, may be in multi entities physiologically. Yeah. Um, okay. What I, is I it? Do, I, I tr oh, what is it? Um, maybe it's just um, me going through the throes of what uh, the the last few weeks of my letting go and yeah, just the new new person or okay. being. Cool. cool. And I do I do make I do make an effort to use the, the tools of the gratitude. Um, how's it get better than this? What else is possible? So, yeah. So you said it's not NDDs. So you've answered your question. <laughs> well, yes, it's actually um, it's a great question. Entities can show up like they, there could be entities that show up as depression, sadness, or even anger or a suicidal thought. There, there are, but that the question, whatever comes up, the first question we ask is, what is it? Who does this belong to is also, what is it? Like, is it an entity? Is it someone else? Is it something else? Is it myself? And that's the first question we ask. And if it is an entity, you deal with the entity. If it is something else, you deal with that. And never come, never come, you never need to come to a conclusion. And yes, there are a lot of things that can be triggered by entities and um, talk to the entity have a lot of tools, the clearing, the communication, mm -hmm. the cooperation, all the tools that um, we have a lot of tools to deal with the entities. And when it's not, you also deal with the energy of it or the point of view that you have. And it's also, it's always using questions. So, Hwan, have you gone on? Are you just doing? Have you done the beginners? Have you done the masters? Um, talking to the entities. What level? Are... I will have. I will have to done have done that to be a facilitator. I, yeah, just curious because I did the talking to the entities with Christine um a few years ago, and you were there, and yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just sort of curious. That was all. Yeah, thank it's you. interesting what you said it, it's, about the. Sorry, yes. it's interesting what you said about the expectations, points of view, and the conclusions. I mean, entities, from what I am aware of, they can feed off of that energy as well, and the judgment, and they can. So, yeah, is that what you're saying? Um, say more, please. Because I think we're on a different we are on a different perspective yeah. here. Say Try more. to bring it back. Yeah, I just didn't know how to say it. <laughs> You know, I think I think what's happening, I was trying to say that a lot of people come to conclusion with entities, like they're either too they're either wonderful or they're either evil or oh my god, they have too much, they're they're more powerful because they can float everywhere. Well, try to get them to pick up a fork, see if they can eat noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, anyway, um, entities are energies as well, and we are energy, everything a sort. A thought, a project is also energy. And the wonderful, the wonderful power of access consciousness is that we never come to a conclusion and we always ask a question. And that's how we would explore the entity world as well. So, so, that's, so that's most probably what it is. I'm sensing the different energies around me at the time. Could be. Is it light for you? If it is, if it is, then it is. Yeah. Um, um, it's not light. It's still heavy. Okay. I'll work on it. Keep asking questions, Rosemary, because you are still trying to come to a conclusion to what this is. And what this can be, like the sadness can be multiple things. And if you don't, if you don't come to a conclusion to it, you keep asking, what is it? What can I do with it? Can I change it? If so, how, I, how do I change it? It will shine more light to it and it will change. Mm -hmm. But if, if you go from, it's wrong that I'm, I'm sensing the sadness. Oh my God, it could be entities. They are wrong. <laughs> they are wrong too. <laughs> then, it, then you're sending yourself in a spiral where the tools are not really going to work. You're going to come up with more conclusions than awareness. 
I'll just use gratitude. Okay. If that whatever works for you. Yeah, I I use that tool a lot. I find that in my daily things. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I did I answer your question, Annette? Absolutely. Or were you were you on a different? Um, you did say something. Entities feed on it. I mean, I mean, we all. Well, <laughs> yes, I I agree with that too. Some entities, for example, some entities are are not very nice, and they like judgment. They love mm -hmm. judgment, and the more you judge yourself, the more they love it. That they, they come around you and, and help you with judging yourself. And when you start choosing more space, more conscious, more conscious choices, more conscious living, more consciousness in general in the world, you're also going to be attracting the entities that are interested in consciousness to come and join you and help you. And, and in fact, I had a conversation with you and that about <laughs> before two classes and, and we asked for the entities that are interested in consciousness to come and join us and, and contribute in whatever way that they can. And when I said that, what did you sense, Annette? <laughs> Happiness, freedom, space, just expansion. It was just beautiful. Much like you, but yes, just just freedom that space of no expectations no conclusions just happiness and you can choose and you're you're the boss but they don't have to rule your life or give you nightmares or you get to choose when you wish to interact and they can just you, they can do your bedding your um yes. yeah like that's just i think that's great i mean there was a story from gary wasn't there that i'm was it Gary? He bought a house or, and it was in, infested with silly entities and he cleared it all and made a mint. Like, how does it get any better? That's great. <laughs> yes, yes. So we have all sorts of entities and we can choose who to play with. Um, but the first thing is that we, we need to know that we have the power, we have the awareness and we have the tools and we can be empowered by the tools to deal with them sufficiently. And that comes from that comes from trusting your awareness. There was one conversation I had with someone like who is not that interested in the spirits, but she's really interested in becoming aware. And for me, talk to the entities is this one class that will give you more awareness you know, like no others. Because I mean, we have many, many classes in access, but entity awareness, you cannot see it. You cannot take a photo of it and and, and compare notes. Me and Annette sense entities very differently. We cannot, we cannot even validate with each other that we are seeing the same thing. That's when we really need to trust that, okay, I know and I'm aware of it and be in question, not conclusion and ask more questions. What can I do with it? What's required here? Can, how can I change it? How can I work with it? And that's question, 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 choice, choice, choice is pretty much access tools, a one-on-one. Mm -hmm. And when it's applied to the NDV world, it, there's so many beautiful things that's gonna show up. And actually most people who have done talk to the NTT did not give the feedback on, oh, I know that many entities and I'm wonderful, I know more than you. It's not about that. <laughs> but they came back with a sense of self, like, oh my God, I'm not crazy. All the dizziness, the headache and the anxiety was not me, was my, was my entity awareness. Now I can deal with them. There was a sense of power in them. <laughs> and there's also a sense of peace with the world, um, well, if, if not the universe, that we are not alone and I'm, I'm always supported and I can all, there, there, there are beings that are always contributing. Oneness. Yeah, that. Hmm. I'm that just happy. Better. Exactly. <laughs> they're fun it's to talk better. to. It is. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> they tell us the secrets. And it's lovely to pass on messages as well. And the big thing for me is obviously with my mediumship and mm. that the titles we get given the evidential mediumship and this and that. And I think it's beautiful and um, no judgment to absolutely any medium. I love you all, as we know. 
but the everyday person or humanoid or human we'll say for now can do this too like they it's just so i find it really easy to connect and yeah. with the certain tools with that you'll teach as well it's just how does it get any better from that to to be able to speak with your loved ones and also if you wish to do whatever you wish in any which way form you can do this yourself and i highly recommend these classes with you because it's so much fun as well oh there's so many different beings <laughs> i love playing with them all <laughs> there are and i think anna mentioned something that she doesn't want to deal with them all the time i think that's one of the biggest misunderstanding with entities you still have a choice but the the moment you acknowledge it and deal with it it's actually a lot easier than ignoring it and allow the energy to pile up and allow the dust to pile up and of course just like people we can choose our friends we can choose who we work with we can choose who we talk to and with entities it's the same you can choose so i i don't actually i think you talk to entities more than i do and that every day i don't actually always talk to them i i only deal with them as they need to well as, as i need to deal with them if it's relevant to me and if we are creating something together otherwise they like we are in the same like we're in the same room it doesn't bother we don't bother each other but having that just having that sense of peace and no fear and knowing that yes i can deal with anything when it comes up it, it gives me such a peace in my world and um yeah i specifically love working with the earth spirits <laughs> they're oh. just so fun <laughs> <laughs> they are cool up they we have a line up here one so there's people from they sense obviously you're well aware and they've just got a line up and i've asked them to step back because i'm i'm seeing quite a lot again and i'm feeling and hearing it's like stop it and then they make me itch but now they're happy to um sit back they're actually enjoying watching you there's, there's, there's lots so they're expecting some of their loved ones on yeah they've got maybe asking questions through my sides but um they're just sitting and they're they're quite happy <laughs> they're really really happy just that's watching wonderful that's yeah. wonderful i mean um if there are any entities that are really keen they're welcome to the talk to the entities class happening in march end of march <laughs> yeah they're and quite excited <laughs> You're welcome. Please bring people as well. <laughs> Do you call the earth spirits the, um, is that what the elemental is for my training? Uh, no, the elemental, the fae. The elementals are different to the earth spirits. Elementals are elements. <laughs> earth spirits has a different energy. Yeah. Yeah, they're more like an entity and okay. elementals are more like elements. <laughs> <laughs> From my training, elements are the um the spirits of lots of the fairies. I love the fairies. They're just so cute. That that sort of side and yeah, yeah. magic as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose that's a okay. combination. I can't wait to class one. Two. Yeah. So can, can I add? Yes, um, please that I, I used to have encounters, but I was not ready to deal with them. So I did push them away, but I get little odd things. And now I seem to get it some, but I feel ready now to, wow. to work with them and deal with them. And I'm wow. not getting them in the same way that I used to. And I'm sort of disappointed in myself that I wasn't ready then, I'm ready now, but now I don't see some of them that I used to see and wish they'd step in okay so um yeah but i'm more open to it and i do see the little orbs of light mm -hmm. and and i only see it in videos when people are in their joy and their little lights that turn into wings and i wondered if they were actually fairies because they flip between light and and wings what's your um, awareness my awareness is that I may be right that that's how humans interpret them, but okay. I call them orbs of light. Yeah. 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 Um, you are really aware, Anna, and you are spot on about it may be how humans interpret them. 
Yeah. Uh, we, do, we do call certain energy and give them a name, but we always say, please be aware of what you're aware of. And what we give out in the categories are nothing like the real thing, like explore. And I mean, we can call we call them angel or some other people from a different religion call them different things. Yeah. Um, the the main thing is that we are actually aware of that energy and being questioned of what we can play, what we can do, what we can create with them. Yeah. How fun! And uh, well, about you, are you really regretful or you are just ready now? Um. Yeah, it's a bit hard to explain because I used to do mystery school. So uh -huh. there were some entities that had a higher role, so to speak, and I felt like they were testing me for okay. a purpose. And, okay. I, and I responded that I'm not ready for that responsibility and it respected that by disappearing. Um, but okay. now I have a better understanding. I feel like I wish that was offered to me again because I'm ready now. Okay, question number one. Is there is there plenty of entities floating around <laughs> that desires to play with you? Um, I'm sure there is. <laughs> okay. Will you be so busy that... <laughs> I mean, of course, you can ask for conscious entities, entities that are interested in consciousness or beings of light. Um or anything that you're interested to go, hey, who wants to contribute and they can show up. Um, yeah. But be really, really aware that when you call an entity that um, what you say is coming from a higher realm, be really aware because um, you don't want to give up your power and choice to anything, including um, entities. That's true. And I'm aware of that. But there were <laughs> moments of synchronicities that confirmed it. So I did hold discernment with it all, and it did show me synchronicities of its genuineness. Mm -hmm. um, so that was beautiful and respectful. Yeah. Um, and I do believe that moment is gone. So whatever task that was, it just gets passed on to another. So that's yeah. passed. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just been open to um, what is uh, available to me now. I guess. Exactly. And you mm -hmm. can ask for more. How does it get even better than this? Yeah. You never run out of enemies to play with. <laughs> even true. the great, great fun ones. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. <laughs> true. You call them in anyway. You never run out. No. Call no, them. it's just a silly <laughs> thought. It's silly thoughts our egos have, you know, it's like because mm -hmm. even in saying it, I have answers to what I'm saying. So, yeah, you know I mean, it's like there's an inner knowing in all that. <laughs> so, you know, you know, what's the ego and what's that inner knowing? Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> it depends on which voice you want to listen to. <laughs> exactly. Because you can get caught up with the ego and then stop yourself and go, hang on a minute. Um, who's doing this talking or who's doing these thoughts? And you know that that's a lower energy within yourself. And so that's ego. And what's the higher energy? Well, you can say light and heavy too. Um, you know what's the ego when you stop and ask those questions and, and what is um, truth, I guess. You mentioned the word synchronicity. That is a beautiful word that we play with a lot with consciousness. Mm -hmm. And the universe has an impeccable of timing, a impeccable sense of timing. You're never going to miss out anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Um, so I was made aware of an entity through my um, meditations. And um, I thought that was wonderful, but was aware that that's, that could be just a symbol. Um, and then I came across uh, a video that I was interested in uh, on TV. And the same image that was in my dream was in that video and that confirmed the reality of or the truth of what I witnessed in my dream and in my meditations. They were all synchronicities that affirmed each other. So that's how I knew that that entity was of a higher realm. But what name um, 
I don't know. I have theories of what the name is, but it doesn't matter. And it, it served its purpose at that time. And, and now it's moved on. Yeah. Okay, Truth, have you received from what you needed to receive from that entity? In some ways, yes. Okay, can you acknowledge that what you have received, that, that you have received it? And yeah. it's done? It, is it done? Um, yes, I guess so, yeah. So you, it, so it's done. It's 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 dropped down. Um, you know how if you if you listen to the recording of how you worded it, you were regretful and then you walked away. Could it could it also be that you actually it's done its job at that time and it's time to move on? Then the entities are way faster than people. And um, I just saw the potential for more to come out of that, and it seemed like there was a potential of more. So um, I'll, I'll be a bit more detailed. I had the, in that moment, I had a I'm gift sorry. of auditory. So yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt, Anna. Yeah. Are you asking for more a detail as in expansion of possibility? Or are you yes. asking for more details of confirmation or conclusion? Be really because, aware. Yeah, it's possibilities. Okay. Yeah. Then ask for more. It's just a question about asking for more. It's not about going back and analyzing it because analyzing it does not give you more awareness. It gives you more conclusion. And especially when we deal with the entities, they do not have a, log the, a logical mind and they do not conform to time. So it actually requires require us to speed up with our perception and choice and awareness and trusting ourselves and not having to make sense. That's the, that's the one key thing about talk to the entities. It does not require to make sense. It does not require to complete a story. Yes. And it will, it will give you so much more ease with dealing with them. Thank you. You've clarified that for me beautifully. So thank, thank you. you. Well, what, I got, what I got out of that is the possibilities for more. That is what I want. And that's given me clarity to move forward with that. So thank yeah. you. Lovely. Pleasure. Thank you. Amazing question. <laughs> Wonderful. So um, do anyone have more questions about talk to the entities? We have a class happening in Adelaide and online at the end of March. It's happening on the 25th to the 27th. So it's, um, it's Friday evening for an intro class and Saturday and Sunday full day for the beginning class that will share we will share many many tools to deal with entities how to deal with them how to clear them how to talk to them efficiently and how to deal with a large sum of entity at once it's really fun it's so, exciting part. how to <laughs> deal with them all at once when you said that to me I'm like, oh well you were right <laughs> 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 then there's that many entities. It's a bit boring to do one by one. <laughs> it's a bit slow. <laughs> it was actually. <laughs> Thank so, you. Um, do you have any idea about where it's gonna be held, and that? Do we have any idea oh. of space, or we'll find oh. out? Yeah, look, I've got a few ideas, absolutely. But I just didn't actually get there yet. Organising the fair and oh. Holly's birthday and the website and everything I do and my yeah. gorgeousness. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> well, that's okay. We, through, we, we will know the venue then, but we will have a live class in Adelaide and it will be streamed online. So just one question. If you choose to open your capacity with the spirit world and if you choose this class, what's your life going to be like in five years of time? If oh. you like that future... Oh, I do. Golly choose God. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holly's chosen the class too. Sorry? Holly, she's chosen the class. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my God. I know. Isn't I can wonderful? sense the space opening. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, just, yeah that's it. Manage your own energy, gorgeous daughter. It's um time to step up. You're 17. It won't stop. I can't. I, I, I could, but I choose not to keep 
babysitting your energy. Now it's time to step in. Would you like this to stop or would you like it to continue? What would you like or would you like to learn how to manage it yourself? And yeah. accept as an allowance. And she's taken her two days to think and about when we were getting the posters printed for the fair, she's like, hmm, I will accept the class. And I'm like, will you choose the class and not accept? And she's just looking, <laughs> we're going through the, the, you know, the rigmarole and she's just like, I choose. I'm like, great, I'll contact the gorgeous one and we'll work it out. <laughs> and she's wow. just quite she's excited. Yeah, wow. I'm excited too. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Such an empowering mum. Oh, thank you. Ditto. Golly gosh. <laughs> yes, Rosemary. Uh, what about the comfort in? Are you, it's have a you possibility. Just... It's one possibility. And I think, I believe Annette has, uh, you, you, one of your friends had a healing space that was that looked quite spacious and light as yes. well, right? Yes, Paula's yeah. Academy. She's actually changed that to upstairs and it's still quite spacious and it's um, more yeah. private. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll contact Paula if you'd like oh, and wonderful. find out. And I'll send you some photos. Actually, I'll go and visit her. Oh, that's so much fun too. And cool. We'll, um, take and have a look. Yes, yeah, we've got fair work to do with her as well. But um, yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. It'll be so much fun. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Well, I can, but I don't want to. Don't require it. Well, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. We can, we can ask where does the class want to be at as well. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Anyone have any questions? No? Okay. I will see you in the class then. If you choose it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, beautiful beings. On the Zoom and off the Zoom. Sitting next to everyone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you, <Andy. laughs> I will see you in the class. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>